Welcome back everyone to the Final Fantasy X Unit Only Challenge, where we are now facing the rear end of a chocobo. The reason I am here is because we want to train a chocobo now that we are here on the uh, Combelands. So, I'm going to uh, show you basically everything that we want to do here on the Combelands before we want to continue, so... First of all, before they'll let you ride a chocobo, you need to train one. And the best way that I've found to train one is to try to hug the walls. Um, because then if it turns, it'll turn into a wall and then kind of straighten itself back out. So, let's see if we can do that. Three, two, one, here we go. For some reason, I prefer the left side wall. I don't know why. Just kind of angle it slightly that direction. And it should kind of short of straighten it. Now, you can see there I missed. I did not uh, go in right between the chocobo and the trainer. That's going to happen sometimes. That's just the most annoying part of it is that uh, sometimes that will happen. So it is going to try to fight you a little bit. Should be okay. Just here at the end, let it run back towards the center and then you should be able to jump into the middle and uh, with plenty of time left. You can continue to train chocobos this way. Uh, at this point in the game, it's really not going to be that valuable. Uh, elixir, that's nice, but... Oh, nope. So, we're going to say really quit. And then we're going to talk to the lady again, and she will let us ride a chocobo. That's what we're going for at this point. Now, if you were to do all of the uh, chocobo work, you can get all the way to Titus's legendary weapon, basically. Uh, but we are not interested in that, so we're just going to use this kind of as a transportation system. So, first thing we're doing, we're going to talk to Belgamine here. And we're going to do the exact same thing we've done before. Oh. Yes, yes, blah, blah, talking, 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 pressing X. Press X more often. I do not. You've got spirit. And... So again, we're going to fight. She will heal up, heal up Yuna healed. and Yuna's Aeons. And we're going to do exactly the same thing, which is going to be running away. Like I said, this is the third time that we meet up with Valgamine. There is a fourth time you would meet up with her, but it, in order to do that, you have to actually uh, use your summons, so instead we are just going to try to get out of this, just like that. And that counts as a loss, just like the first and the second time. I think I only showed you the first time, though. However, she should still give us items. I hope you... you need more tri Speed spheres! Well, that was useless. Aeon Soul! Slightly more useful. Focus and growth. And now it should tell us that we can raise attributes. Which again is not something that's going to be useful to us in any way, shape, or form. So I'm just going to skip through this. It's the exact same way that you do anything else in the menus. It's like exactly how you customize. It's exactly how you do anything. So anyway, that's all we need here. Let's move on. We're going to come this way. And we are going to ride all the way. By the way, I love this music. At one time when I was playing World of Warcraft, I actually made a... Well, I didn't make the mod itself, but I adjusted an add-on to play Final Fantasy X music based on where you were in the game. So anytime you were mounted, it was playing this chocobo music. So that was a lot of fun back in the day. And uh, if anyone wants that add-on, I don't know if I still have it or not. I probably do. But, yeah. So anyway, thing number two that we're going to do on this video is we're going to do this chocobo race. Now again, this is the temple where you can uh, get training from Belgamine, but we are not interested in that because we cannot use summons, so we're not going to be doing that. So let's uh, save the game here really quickly. Save. 
Oh, by the way, now that uh, we're done with all that mess with Bavel, we can actually play Blitzball again. At this point, there's not too much of a point to it, just because we've already gotten the two teleport spheres from the uh, previous place, but it still could be handy. Uh, also, there is a there's normally an Albed Primer back behind where I'm at right now, so I believe it's there anyway. So if you're missing one of those, it's probably there. Uh, like I said, you know, I'm not really doing this as a comprehensive guide for everything in the game. I'm kind of just doing it to show you guys what you need to do to uh, win this as a single character only challenge. So, all right, traveling, traveling, spheres in the way. There we go. So, this temple race. Let's ride. Woohoo! And holding to the right. Now, the first time that you win the race, you get a preset item. So, I'm just going to go through real quick and try to get a quick win. And then we'll go through and try to get the perfect win, is what I like to call it, I guess. So, there we go. The other chocobo is nowhere near catching us. So yes, the first time you win, you are going to get the Cloudy Mirror, which is part of making Celestial Weapons, which we will not be doing. Blah, 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 information there. And now, the second time. This is the, the prize that you get from after that Cloudy Mirror is dependent on how many chests you open and how many pulls you hit. You want to open, I believe it's five chests and hit no pulls. It is a little bit difficult so it might take me two or three tries. There's one. Next one we're going to do, oops I hit a pull, oops I hit two pulls, is two. So I'm just going to show you the pattern here since apparently I fail at missing pulls this time around. Here is number three. And yeah, there's no way I'm going to catch him this time. But here you want to go four. That'll take you right across here. You want to skip this way up. And take this way up. And get this chest here. Which will drop you very close to the finish line. Now obviously, we just lost the race. But that's okay. I made the mistake of hitting those poles at the start anyway. So let's try that again. And uh, this part's actually pretty critical for a Yuna-only challenge. Pretty critical for Lulu as well. Or anyone that you're going to be teaching any major spells, so... Alright, here's one. Making good time so far. Yoink! I may have gone a little bit too far around that one. Two. Same spot, right back up. Three. Okay, gonna keep going forward until we get to this chest right here. Four. It's gonna be a close one though. And like I said the last time, not the first path up, but the second path up. And five. Lady Luck be kind. Ah, uh, fail. I believe there is a little bit of uh, uh, randomness to how long it takes for your opponent to reach it. So if you do a perfect run and you don't make it, just try it again. You should be able to uh, catch it within two or three times of, of once you've got the pattern down and the uh, path down. So, But again, one. Use the straightforward to the first one. You want to go up the little pathway and come back to get number two. Straight back up that pathway to chest number three. Okay. Straight forward to chest number four. I almost hit that pole right there. It's going to be close again. And here you want to skip first path, go up the second path, Forward there to number five. Go, 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 go! And I got it. And what we get here is we get 
63 stars. And what that's going to do is put uh, 1 MP cost on a weapon. So what I'm, I'm going to do that right now. Customize, go back straight to our uh, wonderful Stone Touch Evade Encounter. And now I'm going to put 1 MP cost on that. Now we can do that three times with these three stars that we've gotten. Uh, not a big deal to do it. We're going to do it twice in this walkthrough, if I'm not mistaken. Once here and then once when we're making our final weapon. So. And then there's one more thing that I'm going to uh, run through run through for you, which uh, is pretty straightforward. We're going to go unlock the monster arena now, but uh, I will show you how to do that just in case there's any of you that have never actually gone and done that before. But, you know, most of you probably have, and so that's not a big deal. I just want to do it, though, for anyone that's new that's playing through the game that may have just missed that on their first playthrough because that's going to be pretty critical here. So... Get back on the bird that has been waiting so patiently for us. I appreciate you, bird. I might start calling you Big Bird, but I'm not sure. And by the way, just so you know, the places where you can actually get the Chocobo to jump is anywhere you see a feather on the ground. So, uh, a couple of chests here, not too important because they're just money and we have plenty of that. 10,000 gil. And 5,000 gil. 15,000 gil is not a whole lot, though, considering we have, again, closing in on 600,000 now, so. Okay, so this is the last stop on our uh, checklist here. It's not going to be a terribly long stop, but what we're looking for here is this guy here. And what he's saying is basically it's an arena, a monster arena for everything that... Uh, for any monsters that you want to fight, but first you have to go catch them. And he's saying, well, I lost them all, so I need you to go catch all of them again. And he will sell you a weapon. I really wish they would give you three slot weapons here, one with the uh, capture on it and two more for you, but they never do. It's kind of unfortunate. So let's see your weapons. We want to buy a herding staff. Yep. And let's go ahead and equip that. Reason being, we want to, at this point in the game, go catch at least one of every kind of monster in the... Um, well, right here in the uh, Calm Land. So let me go over a few things that are going to help you out with that. When you are fighting... Uh, of course, you're going to use this capture weapon to kill anything. When you're fighting against a uh, coral, which looks like a dog with the flappy ear tail things. It's, I don't know, it kind of looks like a Gungan. You want to use this stone proof because it has an ability that can turn you into stone called Blaster. So you want to put that on. When you're hunting for, and, and you can switch into this, it's not going to do it on the first turn, it's going to do it when, you, it when it starts getting low health, so that's fine. In general though, you want to use one of these two lucid rings. This one, this is the one that we got in Via Purifico, and this is one that we got immediately after seeing the scene where Yuna and Titus are kissing in the water. So, uh, if you need help finding this, I can give you some more details in the comments section later. But so we're going to equip this, and we're going to equip this, and we're going to go hunt for. Uh, monsters. Now, if it's got more than 10,000 health, you can use a holy or two to uh, get it down low, but then you do want to attack it with a melee attack using this weapon here to actually capture it. So, if you've ever done monster catching before, this is pretty straightforward to you. So, just remember though, use this lucid ring here, for the most part, and then use the soft ring, the stone proof, when you get to those curls. And that should be it. Just go capture all the things here. And I will catch up with you once that, once you're done doing that, once I'm doing, done doing that. And in the meantime, happy gaming.